play another episode. I don't. I don't want to play. But I don't care if you want to. You sign the contract. It says right here. If you don't play the game, I get to beat your kittens. Why am I kidding? Mark off, play! Ah! <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Aaron Justin Bryan from Table Nights Entertainment. Hi, I'm Michael. Who is here by his own free will. Sure. Say it. <laughs> I am here by my own free will. There you go. Good job. <laughs> We're playing Amnesia. The Dark Descent. Help me. Finish the game? Of course I will. Play it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um, there's a cockroach. There are more stupid cockroaches. I can't even. Cockroaches are huge. Can I grab it? No, I'm just gonna. That, why would you do that? I don't know. Maybe to scare the shadow away? Who knows? Like, maybe it doesn't like bugs. I doubt very much that the shadow is affected by bugs. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. Oh, it's reading. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan. The mother of us all. Mm. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Sounds like things and stuff are happening. Things and stuff. If you can hear my chewing, think of it as a comforting sound. For gamers, it's like being back in the womb. It's familiar. This is, uh... There is no comfort in this. It's gonna be okay. Daniel, you need to really sh stop tripping. Ugh. I wonder what we're gonna find in the archives. There's nothing in here? I, I, I don't believe this. Straight up lies. Oh, you gotta open up other doors, other venues. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, okay. True, true. Okay, you're busy playing things, I'm busy making things that, that you play on. So, whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. Hashtag engineering superiority. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you'll just be famous and I'll be here. I'll yeah, be here. exactly. I'll be here. Chip, bro. <laughs> that's that's what victory tastes like. That's what my life is gonna taste like all the time one day. I'm just gonna make a big failure post right there on me. My face. Thanks, bro. I've never got a face. <laughs> oh god. That's not why I'm doing it, so <laughs> Child's Play is why I do this. You people know. Donate to it. Why are you playing with ink? I don't know. I just like throwing things. Like, whee! Physics is fun. Physics is fun. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient, uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful, 
They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and the broken steps. The crudely carved passage... Because Daniel's a white slave owner. It what a dick. much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged yeah. into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave yeah, the order with to raise it, person and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Why didn't you stay trapped? We wouldn't be here. Should die. There would have been no conflict then. Open the drawer. See books, books, knowledge is power, especially when you smack someone over the head with it. Exactly. What was that in the corner? What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. This is why I can't even. Can't. Tinder! Okay. Swipe right. Ha <laughs> ha! Actually, that, you're swiping left right now. Yeah, you swipe left. Whenever you see Aaron's face, swipe left. Do it. That's not nice. Why would you do that? Okay. I'm not even available. I'm just. I'm just. It's so dark in here. Oh god. Where are the lights? Oh. <laughs> why? I don't play games. Um. The old tomes. I'm sure there will be no bad knowledge in any of these. Oh, look, a book fell. <laughs> Your face. Your face just dropped. I can't even! Stupid game! Ah! Uh. Look, inside of the grate. You got a little present. Isn't that nice, though? Doesn't look like anything else is in here. You know, you need to get yourself together. Get yourself together. Huh. It's locked. Okay. The local history. Mm. Why would they want not why would they not want us to know about the local history? I wonder. It's because London sucks. Wow! You heard me! <laughs> Not even- I don't even think this is set in London. Oh, 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 oh. Feel that mic. Oh in, my gosh. I think it's in Austria. Wait, wait. What? Open your inventory? Hold on, stop. Open your inventory. Um... There you go. You have to fill up the lantern with oil. Oh. Okay, so... Double click. Mm -hmm. See? There you go. So um, smart. Double click. Again. You might as well just fill it up. All is good. Okay. Don't die. Better stay this way. No, 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 no. We're putting you back. That painting is around here a lot. I've seen this painting like. Four times. It's almost like the painting is following you, or that the developers couldn't put more assets in. Developers are lazy. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all are awesome. Probably. I've heard good things. Good things. Hey, look at the fireplace. Doesn't something look off to you? There's spiderwebs? In the middle. Spiderwebs? I meant, like, right there. Oh, I thought that might have been a button. It was off-colored. It's been a while. <laughs> Just trying to trip me up, Doug. Tripping me up. So I came through here, right? But you came you came through the middle way. You can go to the end of the hallway, see if there's anything down there. Oh, oh, yeah. Huh. Wow! Huh. Don't let me play or anything! Whatever, dude. Well, I can play if I wanted to. Gosh. That 
See those? You see those? Yeah, 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 I saw them. I heard things. They what stuff in my you? gear. What stuff did you hear? I heard, I heard things. Here. Oh. Don't worry about them. I'm sure that they won't take long to kill you. They, what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Aaron. What did you make me do? Uh, nothing. Or you're fine. You're fine. They're possessed. They're certainly not a possessed scroll. Scroll what? I'm just gonna put this over here. Put it back. Oh, no, no. Yes, there you go. Just gotta... Return the slab. <laughs> Courage was a messed up show. Which one? Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh yeah, that was that was terrible. Legit Star Boy. Man. Now I can't read, like I can't play the piano, I can't read uh, Just they're just like depriving me of everything. Yeah. What the heck? Apparently, picking up that note made you cringe. And now he's losing his mind. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I think it was referencing that trapped. other note that we were. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, oh, this is <laughs> Oh, this is not a cutscene. Okay. It's called a playable cutscene. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Can't look away from it. That's actually kind of cool. Come on, Amnesia. You impressed me today. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Like in Riolo. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. This is, uh, trippy. Right? What could have happened? I wonder. So basically, he found the world's first disco ball. Yep. And then he he got psychedelic on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like has acid, you know, straight acid. So you can't break that by hand. Maybe you can break it with something like bigger. No. What am I doing? <laughs> Maybe I squirrel. Let's go, squirrel. Let's go. Why are you saying squirrel? Because I, I, I can't English. Scroll. Scroll. There you go. There you go. Thanks, ma'am. I mean, no Aaron. No, it's fine. I mean, Justin. You Justin. Did you legitimately just try to open that wall with a scroll? Why not? Like, why not? Your hand is stronger than a scroll. Uh, hey, he said not by hand. It could have been by... <sighs> Much of the castle is old and hasn't been attempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here. And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Let's 
hey, Mr. Alexander, why couldn't you be like here in the Eastern Wing room 1073? An ink bottle? That was your next guess? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why don't you find something large and maybe, you know, brick-like or metal to hit with it? I don't... Because I can't find anything! Oh, you have walked by a large metal object twice now. What? I, I, I did? Yes. Large metal object. It's out in here. Out in the hallway. You just walked by it again. Nope. In the hallway. Okay. Oh, oh, look! Oh, it's a, it's a freaking helmet. There was also like thousands of rocks that you could have used. So I could just like. Hit the Maybe if you aim. Okay, so look. you know you can throw with right click, right? You could have told me that before. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that. You know, you'd think that this guy would have realized this dude was er evil earlier, right? Maybe. Maybe. Gotta break it open. You can right click to throw. <laughs> that even makes sense. <laughs> Just put the buck on top. <clears throat> Read the note. Okay. Um, Alstalt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstadat. Al Alstadat? deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories of surrounding ha the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with shattered lakes is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there is uh, there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said the soldiers who abandoned their duties got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. The bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called the gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, uh, visited Alstalt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble, Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Astalt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Wow. What? Why? Why what? Why? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at a ca his castle nearby uh, Alstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by uh, excuse me, fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming uh, the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago. 
lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. So there's a legend that the Baron is mortal. Hmm. Is he? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stay there. Okay. 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 There's a puzzle you have to solve. <laughs> <laughs> now you break the glass. Stop! I don't know why you're playing with the book. Oh, oh, it's broken already. Oh, okay, cool. Now, where, where is this puzzle? Gotta look for some stuff that looks like it's already uh, it's a part of the puzzle, puzzly puzzleness. Aren't there some books that look like they might be out of place? Like this? Oh my good lord! It's almost as if you found out the secret of the puzzles! Uh oh no, I gotta restart the thing. Oh, or do I? No. Well, you only have a limited amount of time. Okay, I, I don't know what to do. What, 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 Look what, what, for all the other ones! There, there's more than one, okay. Yeah, I said once it gets started, you have to be swift, otherwise it'll restart. Has it finished clicking? Yes. Okay. I don't know why you couldn't pull it out before. Uh, just, I was never, nah, I'm not even going to make that joke. Okay. Uh, oh, there you go. Looks like there's another book you have to pull out somewhere. Oh, you found the last one. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my <gasps> What type of abuse? <gasps> Here. Darn it, I ran out of oil. Maybe you shouldn't leave your uh, lantern on all the time. Hmm? Oh, look, a key. <gasps> the wine cellar key! You just stop. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve... Both of my problems. So he's putting stuff in the wine. It's not okay. Remember, kids, <laughs> roofies are bad. <laughs> well, unless you're the one giving. No, I mean even then, that's they're bad. Yeah, that's true. We shouldn't do that. No. We <laughs> should not do that. Yeah, that's right. Table answer entertainment got serious for a minute. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> There's nothing in there. It doesn't hurt to check, Like my though. soul. Yeah, yeah, I know. I noticed. We'll be right back. Go ahead. Okay, we're back. Shut up. Wow. Hey, look, that door's open. I came through here. Wait, no. No, I didn't. That's the study. I won't budge. That's weird. Uh, try uh, leaving through the the hall again, that way. Because I mean that that was connected to all the other rooms. Remember? Yeah. Stop with your sin. No. No. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's not the, the, that that way is the exit. That way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I gotta start running. You that mine. No, stop. What's wrong? All these noises. <laughs> I don't know why you're so worried. Oh, because, you know, crazy monster noises. That's totally normal in junk. Yeah, yeah, guys. Monster noises. Paper! 
I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years and when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg has recommended my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. That's a contract. So, oh, I should have checked the date. For three years of service. There was no date on it, I think. Oh, no. All right, so the exit to this place is out in that hallway. This hall? No, the hallway. Go that way, yeah. There you go. Here? Yeah. Oh! Just really bad at remembering. Stop! What the? Oh, that's actually here. Oh, okay. What the heck? Can I, can I not go through here? I don't think you should step on on it. I think that would be bad for your health. Hands are sweaty. My, my knees weak. Mom's spaghetti. And jump. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most excellently executed jump of all time. <laughs> twenty, to twenty out of twenty jumps would we'll jump again. Yep. 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 All right. So now you have the wine cellar's uh, key. Wait. What was the one? The wine oh. cellar was over there. Over here. Yeah. I think. I know things. There you go. Yeah. No, you don't. You you know nothing, Marcus Snow. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Got to use the key. Double click it. Whatever, bro. Gosh, hurt my feelings. I'll hurt more than your feelings. Your super feelings. Not my super feelings, so I need those to be super awesome. So yeah, you're standing in the dark, and it's really messing you up. Here we go. Did I do that? Oh. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left. Why kids don't drink and drive? Closing in. That light did a lot, didn't it? <laughs> right? It helped so much. Almost in, almost hey, I think that it's it's slightly glowing. Oh, that's uh, Calamine! Yay! That's one of the things we needed. Oh, and now you're oh. Daniel, why didn't you move? Why didn't you dodge? And all the lights oh, are yeah, out. all the lights are out. That's good. Anyways, I'm Aaron, Justin Bryan from Table Nights Entertainment. Marcos is locked in a dungeon. Oh crap, I'm locked. Yep. Have fun with that. And from all of us here at Table Nights Entertainment, Marcos, you need to do the thing again. What thing? The rolly thing. The, the rolly thing? Yep. The, the, you know, like you're rolling dice. Oh, great! Come on, let's hear a table dice entertainment. Roll on! Terrible. <laughs> Terrible at everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, donate to Child's Play and Game Changers. And from all of us here at Table Nights Entertainment, roll on.